Hey everybody, Mr. Boogie Boo here, coming to you with another LEGO City update. We've got a lot of big changes in Bricksburg this month, and we're going to jump right in in Ninjago land. Now you'll notice that I've uh, put the, uh, the Red Dragon Temple is back up on the mountaintop there. And the, actually the really cool thing that I've been working on a lot the last uh, few days is if you look behind the Temple of Erejitsu, you're going to see, you see that mass of gray back there? If I zoom in, you'll see what's is the makings of a giant uh, brick built mountain. Now I'm using the uh, MURPS, which are the medium symmetrical um, uh, giant what, plastic pieces. What, what, what are they? I always forget what those things are called. Anyway, I'm using the ones that are symmetrical, so I like at right angles. So they're a little different from the, these are the normal ones that I like to use. Um, the ones that are in the mountain are designed for corners. They're like specifically corner pieces and they stack together. Once I figured out how to stack them right, they actually stack together real nicely. If I zoom in, you can kind of see how that stacking works and how it kind of builds up a mountainside really fast. So if you need to build a corner mountain, highly recommend these. Um, and so what I'm doing basically is um, just kind of filling in that space. If you remember, if you've seen the previous pictures, you'll remember it was just, a, it was open. It was just the blue wall. The Temple of Erejitsu, and then the mountain kind of on the sides here are flanked by the temples. But that area behind there was just, it looked just really uh, plain and there wasn't a lot going on. So my hope is with this mountain, this corner mountain, it's going to kind of fill in that space, make it look uh, more of a continuous mountain side, and uh, just make it a little, get a little more interest and, and kind of frame the Temple of Erejitsu a little bit better and make it look like the whole area just kind of, excuse me, just kind of flows together into one, one nice, uh, you know, one nice scene. Um, I'm still working on it. As you can tell, there's a lot of gaps in there and stuff. I haven't filled it in yet. I actually ran out of MURPS. I bought 25 of them and they went really fast. So I'm going to have to order a few more because I want to, I want to raise up that mountain. So it does kind of tower over the Temple of Erejitsu a little bit more. So I'm probably going to get, you know, maybe like 10 more and go, you know, a little bit higher up there and kind of fill in on the sides a little bit more. But, um, yeah, it's turning out great so far. Also, I'm probably going to add a little bit of greenery. So like something kind of like down here, you see little plants and flowers, maybe a couple trees, just so it's not this big, ugly gray wall that you see. Um, so we're going to do that as well. Just kind of, you know, just, just spruce it up a little bit. Um, you'll also notice, like I mentioned, the Red Dragon Temple's back. It's actually set in place now. And I've actually um, started working on the stairs for that. So I took the stairs. If you notice, there's no stairs at the top. The ones that come with it, actually, they're right here. Um, I took those apart because I'm actually had to shrink the stairs to fit in between the Temple of Erejitsu and this uh, the green little market house there. So th this is only six wide these stairs, and um, but it's basically going to go all the way up to the to the main doors there. Uh, the tunnel is also added a little bit of detail work to the tunnel portal here, so it's kind of similar to the other one yet a little bit different. And actually, I'll point out here too, so you can see this is a great uh, opportunity to take a look. You can actually see this is these are the burps as without any texturing on them. So that's kind of how I stack them, and that serves as the foundation for the for the mountain building that I do. Um, they're kind of they're just offset basically by like two studs typically to give it a little bit of a gradual slope, and they just stack on top of each other, and then to give it additional height so the trains will clear through the tunnel, um, just a row of bricks on the top there. Now what happens is I'll start adding um, some like slopes. I like to use a lot of. Uh, two by threes, I like to use, uh, you know, the 45 degree angle ones, all, all the 33 degree angle, all the different slopes and stuff, cheese wedges, you name it, I'll throw them in there just to give it variety and to make it not look as symmetrical as it looks right now, just because it looks like it's cookie cutter. If you, if you, if I can get the angle here, you can see how it's just bonk, 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 and it's pretty boring. Um, the end result, as you know, as I pan over here, is something like the Disney castle. So that is what it eventually the uh, Ninjago mountainside will look like once I get all the bricks and texturing done. Now, real quick over here, you can see there's not a whole lot else going on. Um, Darius Dojo is nearly complete, still needs a roof. I'll show you that real quick. And actually you can kind of see behind the scenes. So you can see right now how this ends right here. Uh, what I'll probably end up doing is adding more burps behind that just to kind of give it a little bit of a mountainside. It probably won't go up very high, but it will give it just a little bit of um, I don't know, just you know, just just to kind of finish that off, so it just doesn't like end and like look like the looks like the temple's hanging off the side of the mountain there without anything going on. Um, Ninjago City is still in place. Not much has changed, and I kind of pan out a little bit more, so you can see this is still a disaster over here. Although I will point out, Destiny's Bounty is there. 
Now I am thinking of maybe adding Destiny's Bounty right next to Ninjago City, because this is kind of like a little water area right here. You can see that little boat down there. I may try that and see how it fits. It's it's a pretty massive boat, as you know. Um, it's probably almost like two base plates long, um, but it is a fantastic set. If you have an opportunity to get it, I'd highly, highly recommend it. The detail is fabulous. The build is fun. Um, and also I would say um, the details, just really cool stuff. It's fun to play with. The kids love playing with it. And um, I, I'd put it on par with the Sea Cow or the Imperial flagship for sure. Quickly moving over here. This area, now you'll notice actually, I'll point this out right here. Um, yes, that is the original medieval market village. My plan was I wanted to add it to this little area right here, which is like in perpetual construction. Um, but it, it didn't quite fit like the general, like the originals didn't quite fit. So what you see right next to it is my new version that I'm building. So I'm actually taking the original one, using it as a template, and I've made a newer version, which you can see here, which I'm still working on, but it's 16 wide, so it fits better. It's, it's a little bit taller, and I cleaned up the design. I added, cleaned it up a little bit so there wasn't quite as many gaps and holes as the original. Um, and then also it's gonna be like the mini modular standard that, that all these other ones over here are. So the tops will come out and you'll be able to play inside. And actually I'm already working on the upper floor with the detail and stuff. Um, just like these, all these guys, the, the floors come off and you can get inside and play around with them as well. Um, Disney Castle did some of that brickwork. The tiling in here, you can see, you can see how I added the tiles all in here. Now, a few of you had a great, great idea of adding, um, instead of just doing all one by one tile, round tiles, to add some two by two tiles, which I'm gonna do, because I think that's a great idea. It gives it a little variety, makes it not look so symmetrical, makes it look a little more interesting. Moving along over here. Not a whole lot going on here. Actually, my oldest created this little, um, I'm not sure what it is, but it's actually really cool. It's really, I like the symmetrical, use all those tan arches and stuff. I think he said it was some type of a monument or something. So, you know, cool stuff going on all the way around here. This was the other big thing that I did this month. So this is my uh, custom modular police station that I created. Um, I know I posted on Instagram a few times on like suggestions and ideas and stuff. And so basically what I ended up with is um, the flowers along the top just to give it a little splash of color. And then I added some flags down below as well to make it um, just to, you know, just to kind of spruce it up so it wasn't this ugly gray building. And then I also had a few other people point out that it actually, the gray actually contrasts pretty well with all the other colors in the, in the city, which I agreed with. I was like, oh, you know, that actually makes sense because I was worried it was too gray. But, you know, when you put it against everything else, it actually kind of flows and fits in pretty well, I think. I don't know. I moved around some of the buildings so you can see some are in different places. Again, the pet shop and the um, apartment here are back together. They were separated at one point. Um, I relocated a few other buildings around Green Grocer, which was here where the police station was actually now down over here. Uh, not a lot changed here. We did clean, we dusted and did some uh, cleaning earlier in the month. And so the city streets are fairly clean. They were a little dusty. Uh, we also took that opportunity to kind of rearrange everything. We moved all the minifigures around, added stuff, you know, did all that fun things. Um, the other interesting thing is I finally got my VIP set. So it was delayed. It was, I was worried because I got my Destiny's Bounty and then I didn't get my goodies that came with it. But this, actually the VIP set finally showed up and I turned it into a billboard. So it actually looks really familiar. It looks just like I took that billboard that comes with the uh, Grand Emporium as a base and basically just copied it and created the same idea over here, which you can see. Uh, it's got the little catwalk on the top, the lights, and it just, you know, just basically attached that VIP sign to make another billboard in Bricksburg. Now, actually, one other thing, I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna go on and get it. Because I'm actually, what I wanna do, one of my plans I've been wanting to do for a long time is to um, create a, um, like a series of facades, kind of like the Avenger Tower, but not, not even like that, like less, like not even full buildings, like literally facades behind the main modulars so that you would actually kind of fill in some of this, like, I don't know, just, just make it look like more of a living, vibrant city. So what I'm doing, this is actually a prototype for one of my facade buildings that I'm gonna put behind. So the idea is that this would actually go, if I move back over here, I can show you. So this would actually go behind, you know, kind of like that. So you can kind of, you can kind of get a rough idea. And then, so there'd be like a, a layer of buildings and they'd be all different, of course, behind um, the modulars just to give it more depth behind there. So it's like almost as if, 
you know, there's apartment buildings, office buildings, you know, all that kind of stuff just to give it that idea. So watch for that coming soon. I'll be posting some Instagram uh, progress updates on that. I got a BrickLink order coming because it ran out of parts to build the actual facade. Um, so just keep your eyes peeled for that. That'll be pretty cool. The other thing I'll show you real quick is over here because not a whole lot changed otherwise, but right here, <coughs> sorry, my uh, perpetual construction zone here. Uh, so what I decided is I'm going to do a parking lot because someone actually suggested that and I thought that was a great idea. So I actually have the, the groundwork. I started building it and then I ran out of dark gray tiles. So I had to brick link a bunch of those, which I got. And so now I'm slowly starting to work on this. We're going to make this a little parking lot because we have like no parking in the city aside from the street parking. And over here in the main like fun zone where everyone wants to hang out at the beach and go to the boardwalk and the Ferris wheel, there's no place to park. So we're going to do a parking lot here. And what I'm thinking also is... Uh, behind that, instead of the elevated walkway up to a train platform, which would be too small and not really useful, is putting in actually another facade of maybe like a hotel. So I have an old, really old Prince of Persia set, and I was thinking of taking that as kind of using that as the main like uh, concept for the hotel. So it'd be kind of like a, like a, you know, like a fancy kind of hotel with all, it has all those gold pieces and white and stuff like that, and just kind of building something and putting it right right in there because I think it would fit pretty nicely. So we'll see how that goes. I haven't even started on that yet, but that's kind of where I'm going with the ideas. And then as far as the other stuff, not a whole lot of progress over here. Just the same old, you know, same old beach. Look at the surfers all wiped out. I don't know what happened there. Um, you know, not a lot going on. But the main thrust of it, again, over here, Ninjago City. This is where I've been spending almost all my effort right now. And I think it's paying off pretty well. What do you guys think? Let me know. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate the views. I appreciate you guys' comments are awesome because you guys give me great ideas on what I should do and what I shouldn't do. Um, and it just kind of gets my creative thought process going and, it, and it's, it, it's just fantastic. So thanks for watching. I'll be back in a month with another update and hopefully a lot more progress. Hopefully we'll have most of that mountain done and you'll be able to see it real good. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.